Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Now today, Blues play Cheltenham in another one of Blues' friendlies. Last time, um, Blues played Burton Albion. We won 2-1 to win the Bass Charity Vars. Uh, and at the same time as the Cheltenham match, um, another Blues team are also playing against Solihull Moors. But we're going to the Cheltenham match. So hopefully we can win that. Cheltenham, a League One side and a good League One side as well. Last season, uh, they finished pretty much mid-table. Um, and the season before that, they were promoted from League Two. So with that first season, um, it showed that Cheltenham are a League One side and they could maybe push up to the Championship. You never know. The next few seasons could be promising. Um, but hopefully today, Blues can beat them. Um, it depends on what squad's going to the Cheltenham match. Um, but hopefully we can we can have a good squad playing. And I'm going to go 2-0 to Blues. Keep my fingers crossed. Hope that the heat starts to cool down a little bit. It's a little bit too hot out there for me. Um, and hopefully we can get the win. <laughs> Again, and with Solly Hall beating Birmingham in the other match, let's see how this match goes between Cheltenham and Birmingham. So half time in the game, Cheltenham nil, Blues nil. So the second half is just about to begin, still nil nil, but can one of the teams find the goal to put them ahead? Well, 83 minutes gone. Still Cheltenham nil. Burnley have seen nil. Number 
Let Cheltenham score the first goal. There's five minutes left in the game and Cheltenham might just have won it. Hasn't been too impressive from Blues anyway, which has been quite frustrating. So Cheltenham making subs. Um, yeah. Blues had that one chance, uh, which I thought was in. Um, and since then we haven't really had anything. But yeah, in the game, it's been quite dull from a Blues perspective. But you'd expect that we're playing the kids. Cheltenham just with possession now, crossing the ball in. And it goes into Etheridge's hands. Uh, six minutes gone, Cheltenham won. Blues nil. Blue's getting really close there, and it's going to be a free kick. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's Cheltenham 1, Blues 0. Um, 
An 85th minute goal by Cheltenham procured the win for them. But I didn't think that Blues played too well today. But full time, Cheltenham won, Blues nil. Wow, uh, unfortunately a 1 0 defeat. But to be honest, don't think the performance was too good today. Uh, it was mostly the, uh, the younger players who were playing for the Blues squad against Cheltenham today. Um, and unfortunately it didn't pay off, but more experience uh, for them, which is always a positive. Um, against Solly Hull, um, the other Blues team lost 1-0. Um, that's a little bit annoying because that was the stronger team. Um, that was the first team. And so to go on and lose against Solly Hull, I don't know how they played. I don't really know the ins and outs of it, so won't dig too deep into that. But um, to be honest, the match against Cheltenham um, was a bit boring at times. Um, you know, Blues were unable to attack at certain points and kept playing the ball around in the defence. Cheltenham tried to attack um, and they did have their, their chances, um, but... Overall, nothing really worked for either side. Uh, second half, mainly the same thing. Um, until uh, Blues, to be fair, the majority of the fans thought that we scored in around the 83rd minute. Uh, even I thought that we scored, but turns out we didn't. Then Cheltenham went up the other end and scored. And then we hit the crossbar. Um, so it was a dramatic end to the match. Um, but unfortunately, we couldn't come away with the win or the draw today. Um, but, oh well. We go on to Saturday um, against the Spanish side. I can't remember who it is. Um, but hopefully we can win against them. So thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you on Saturday. Keep right on, everyone.